I look at the skies, at the clouds, at the sea. These layers of clouds, so thick, so dense, so low, sometimes I almost could touch them, as if the skies were pouring into the earth. From the outside, Brittany seems like a small, a quiet, a relaxing place with a very mild climate without any extremes in temperatures, no high mountains, no big rivers, green landscape all year round, grey sky most of the time. But for me this land is so intense. Living here tends to overwhelm my senses. I feel all the strength, the energy, the intensity and the complexity of this old land, which is both beautiful and uneasy to deal with. The layers of clouds, the tormented shapes of the trees, texture, the energy of the stones. Those stones and rocks, although at first sight not very impressive, not very high, but they are the remains of huge mountains. Can you imagine? of years passed by, most of the mountain felt apart. It's like living on the roots of the mountain that are now on the surface of the earth. As if that wasn't enough, the oldest human massive constructions in Europe are also found here. Apparently also the megalithic culture spread from Brittany all across Europe, overwhelming I'm telling you, humbling too. The weather is sort of not very predictable. It may change multiple times a day. With drops of temperature, peaks of very intense rays of light peeking through the clouds. Heavy rain in between. The change of light from moment to moment, even when the sky is cloudy. And the sea, the tides, it's so impressive, like twice a day, tons of water run away and covering strange landscapes. And twice a day, the waters come back. Sometimes with strong currents, sometimes with clouds and mist. There was some snow this year. Although we can have snowflakes every year, but because of the soil and the ground being generally wet, it rarely stays. But this year, it stayed for five days and it felt so good. I found it so relaxing, so calming, like as if the thin layer was making everything smoother. And then it was gone. The snow melted and all of a sudden, all the intensity was back. The colors in the woods almost seemed to come from another world or from another dimension. But this year at least there is this small reference point before the snow and after the snow. I always felt that the change of seasons was very challenging here. Not at all what I've known and experienced in other countries, even in Greece, where the difference between summer and fall and winter, they are really obvious. Here it's very subtle. Like the tides, it goes back and forth. 
You totally can experience the same weather in January or in August. Maybe that's one of the reasons ancient Celts and Druids developed this very complex system of calendars with inter-seasons in between the equinoxes and solstice. I could lose myself in time. Maybe that's also why I have this profound need to travel, to relax my mind, my soul, my energy, my senses, my creative mind. Yes, my creative mind. I get so inspired by my surroundings, yet sometimes, in a frustrating way when I'm here in Brittany, I have no simple quick way of conveying what I feel and how it inspires me. How can I capture the essence of a moment, the energy, the feeling of a place, when it is so complex? All those layers. The past always present in the present. Maybe it's not supposed to be. Not in an easy and quick to grab way at least. Maybe it's also one of the explanations of the complexity and the layering in our music and art. We can't do simple, we can't do easy and quick to grab. When you listen carefully, all songs from here, once the first impression of repetitiveness is gone, they all have this very subtle micro variations in the tune, in the intensity, in the rhythm. So subtle. Sous du setup paisi frontet, des ogonans dial possédet, eustan al pugator et en tuant, des dans en inferné en han. Mais moi, zéro de mat, me dore jau, après net mat, me freine stro, me mamik me wien que den doare, mes eaux de dredou ligen al hue. Now, the apparent limitation of travel has showed up and I choose to see it as a precious opportunity to explore and dive into those energies and feelings for good, find coherence in there, see what is, but also see beyond even more, dancing with the winds, with the clouds, dancing in this space where multiple rhythms meet, the slow evolution of the old stones, the old culture, the rapid flow of the waters and the clouds, the tides. And I'm somewhere in the middle. <laughs>